Welcome. The first part of the webinar will introduce Lane and I and some concepts that you will need to understand. We thought we should give you a little background to Wedgecraft and the two protagonists, Lane Savoy on the left and me on the right. About seven years ago, we began an elaborate research investigation on wedge play, including bunker shots, shots from the rough and from the fairway, and distances ranging from 10 yards through to 100 yards. You can see a video here of Luke Donald hitting a bunker shot about 30 yards. We had 3D motion capture available, and here is that same swing as captured on the 3D. And you can see the avatar moving here, just as Luke did on the previous slide. What we also have available with the 3D avatar is measurements, quantitative details on rotations and speeds of movement, sequencing the whole nine yards. So we use that to understand the movement of the body. But we needed to understand the club dynamics and the ball club interaction even better. So we went to the Royal and Ancient Research and Test Centre in St Andrews and collected data on impact across the face with different distance wedge shots. We also collected data on the golf ball, so how it's spun, its trajectory, and we used TrackMan or sometimes the GC Quad to measure the ball and club movement down at impact. So this gave us a very comprehensive set of data on the best players in the world. And here are examples of some of the major champions and Ryder Cup players. The years of research led us to come up with seven principles known as the control variables, which govern and guide you in playing wedge shots correctly. It doesn't matter what skill level or the type of shots, these are all important. And we call them the control variables because you as the golfer need to be able to control each one of those when you hit a shot. Attack angle is about how quickly the club is moving down at impact. The speed obviously is how fast the club hit is moving when it strikes the ball. Forward shaft lean or shaft lean is common in all wedge shots. Your ability to assess the lie and choose an appropriate shot is what we call intellect. Whereas the club path is the direction in a horizontal plane that the club is moving. Face angle is really a complex uh, concept with wedge play and it's where the face is actually pointing. Contact point where you strike the ball on the club face. So what follows is a little bit more of a uh, pictured des description of all of those variables. So here we see attack angle and the um, downward movement of the red arrows indicates the attack angle or how much the club is descending when it hits the ball. The, the next example um, is the um, club speed. So how fast the club is moving at impact. And so typically it's the velocity of the point of contact on the club face that's critical here. Shaft lean, we learned, is really crucial in all forms of wedge play, but in particular in distance wedges, because the amount of shaft lean dictates how much loft you deliver to the shot, and that is highly correlated to how far the ball will go. As I said earlier, being able to choose the right shot in the appropriate situation will really help you to become a better wedge player and save shots during your round. Club path is the direction the club's moving when it strikes the ball. So if we have a look at this little video here, the uh, white line indicates the target line and the red arc is an indication of the club path. So it's where on that arc you strike the ball. Face angle, as I said before, is quite complicated because often in wedge play, you'll open up the leading edge and that'll change the direction the club face is pointing. But the bottom line is that if you want to hit shots towards your target 
or on your target line, you need to get that orange stick pointing towards the target. And lastly, contact point. There's a lot of discussion about contact point and how important it is in wedge play. If you watch this little video as the club descends and hits the ball here, we're very interested to know where on the face the uh, ball is struck because that will allow us to predict how far the ball will go and how it will spin. If you enjoyed the content of the webinar, we'd encourage you to visit wedgecraft.com where you can access many, many more hours of wedge play videos.